such an elegant man unbuttoning the jacket. <laughs> oh my God. Um, congratulations on this. First of all, this cover is stunning. Oh, I think it shows the grace and the maturity of the story that you're telling inside of it. It shows who you are now. Right, right, well thank you. The book, you start off dedicating it to your mom, um, your hero. Yeah. And you early on, I know, it's such a beautiful picture. <laughs> and as a mom of a son, I get that bond. And it, 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 it is, I almost weep every time you read, you, I read about her and your relationship. But it's interesting, you take us early on into the complexity of having a father who was an NFL star. Right. And you said, I spent most of my childhood wanting to blend into the background. Every article written because uh, with me as the son of an ex-NFL player. I'm not necessarily proud of this now, but I used to hate that characterization. I wanted to prove I could stand on my own. I think the very first article I read about growing up in Texas, I'm a Texas okay. girl, okay. Grand Hill, Calvin Hill's kid, right. you know, and then you were living in that cloud. What was it like reliving how that felt for you as a young man? You know, it was interesting. The process of writing a book, you relive all the moments yeah. of your life. And, um, and so I, I think everyone should go through that exercise. Uh, it's really, you learn a lot about yourself. But um, first of all, I'm glad to know you from, I was born in Dallas, Texas. Yeah, I know. So we I share know. that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, on one hand, it was weird. I wanted to blend in. I didn't want to stand out. And, uh, but I also had this desire to be successful and to achieve. And uh, so I struggled with sort of the idea of being in the shadow of someone who was a celebrity. What was that struggle like? Because m many kids were like, I get the restaurant reservation at Uncle Julio's. I can <laughs> say it's my dad. You know, they would leverage it to get right. them in rooms. You wanted to run from it in some way. Right. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, I think, um, you, know, my, you know, my dad was a great football player. My mom was achie an achiever. She had great success in her world in corporate America. Um, but, you know, you go through that period where you want to sort of discover who you are and find yourself and find your own lane. And, uh, and so that was very, very important to me. And thankfully, you know, I excelled. I was tall. Mm -hmm. I am tall. Uh, and I, <laughs> I, excelled at, I excelled at basketball yeah. really early. But The opposite world from your dad's world of NFL. So, you I mean, yes. there were so many distinguishing things. Was it deliberate? Not just because you were blessed with height, but it was the opposite it of was. what he did. It was. Now, first of all, I wanted to play football, but he wouldn't let me. And uh, he wouldn't let me until I got to high school. And so I kind of just developed this resentment towards football. You know, growing up around it, loving yeah. it, not being allowed to play. So I found my passion in, uh, in another sport, in basketball. And, uh, and thankfully so, because I, I don't think I would have gone far <laughs> in football. You would have been a really, really tall wide receiver. <laughs>